solving trig equations using decimals. In this example, we're going to solve for theta, where theta is between 0 and 360 degrees. Our equation is the sine of theta equal to 0 0.75, and our answer has to be to two decimal places. Let's go through the steps to solve this trig equation. Step one is to identify the quadrants. We have the sine of theta equal to positive 0.75. So we need to determine in which quadrants the sine ratio is positive. This is quadrant one and quadrant two. In these quadrants, we will draw the terminal arm for each solution. Second step is to find the reference angle. To find the reference angle, we need to find the inverse sine of 0.75. We can do this using the calculator and the second function key on the sine button. The inverse sine of 0.75 gives us an answer of 48.6 degrees. Now, as a reminder, the reference angle must be positive and it must be acute. 48.6 degrees satisfies both of these conditions. Also, remember that when finding a reference angle, the value that we use in our calculator must always be positive. This ensures that our angle will be acute. The third step is to use the picture to find the solutions. Our first solution in quadrant one will be the reference angle. In fact, all of the solutions in quadrant one are reference angles because they're all angles are acute. The second solution will in quadrant two will be a half circle or 180 degrees minus the reference angle. That gives us an answer of 131.4 degrees. We now have both solutions. Note that the steps for any trig equation in decimals are pretty much the same. If you remember the steps, the, the three steps, and go slowly and carefully, you should be able to solve any equation.